Can you put it in? Go South Florida! Unbelievable! Stop for Brian. It's in the goal! It's a shot. South Florida goal! everyone and welcome to Claremont, Florida to see South Florida Football Academy take on the Florida Rush. Claremont, one of the hilliest areas in Florida, believe it or not, in the flattest state in the nation. This is home of the Florida Rush and the Olympic training grounds. Not only soccer fields here, but uh, numerous other uh, sports facilities. And it is some complex, let me tell you, as the boys start warming up. South Florida Football Academy, this is going to be the last broadcast of the 23-24 season, taking on the Rush, who are pretty close to South Florida and the standings, and have always been a tough opponent for South Florida, always giving them a good game, always really putting in their best effort, as does South Florida. And today, uh, coaching is going to be Coach Callum, Coach Jordan unavailable today. And you can see a number of our starters are not here today. We do have Mora in the lineup, but no Edan, no Nick. A uh, couple of other players absent. But uh, we are looking to have quite a game today. As the boys look fit, they look like they're ready to go. It's been a long season, but uh, a fruitful one. As we have a number of players that will be leaving to go on a great adventure with MLS clubs. But more on that at halftime. All right, so Jordan James not here today. Coach Callum filling in. We have Joaquin and Mora up front. Curly, Brian, Matthew, and Gavin making up the midfield. Brandon, Crosby, John, and Jaden in the backfield. And Colton, our one and only goalie and shot stopper for the entirety of the season. That's the lineup. We'll be right back. Remember this team when you're thinking about buying another pair of cleats. They're just the same old thing. Techie Customs at eBay. Techie Customs provides you with some unique footwear for the field that nobody else will have. Techie Customs on eBay has 100% satisfaction rating with over 500 sales. Techie Customs at eBay can provide you that unique look that you're looking for. And if you want something done original, you can check them out at Techie Cleats on Instagram. Techie Cleats and you can drop them a DM to see what they can make for you. So why don't you head on over, check it out, and see what it is that you might like or you might want your feet to look good in. All right, well, there's the boys huddling up just before kickoff. With me today, Jeffrey Smythe. Say hello, Jeffrey. Oh, hello there. Good day to you all in YouTube land. We've got the crack of a match today, don't we? That we do, as I mentioned before, Rush, always a tough opponent of South Florida Football Academy. I'm sure they're going to be bringing it today in their home field as the boys get ready to take the field and we're ready for kickoff. South Florida, having won the coin toss, we're going to kick off first. The referee accounts for everybody on the field. Beautiful weather today. It is sunny. It is hot. But cloudy, so it gives them a little bit of reprieve from the Suns' rays as Jaden plays this ball back to John. John not really under any pressure. Rush not uh, bringing the press as of yet. Passes over over to Crosby. Crosby taking his space up the left side. Puts a long ball up into space for Moore. A beautiful ball. Moore just couldn't handle it. And that's just going to be the first touch jitters there as the first throwing comes in from the Rush. Rush throwing in. Brandon getting up on top of the back of the rush player there, but no foul call. Another throw. This one down the line. Brandon giving chase. Gets it off to Crosby. Crosby with a player on his back. Having to use some footwork here. Uh-oh. Pass intercepted here by the rush. They're going to cross it into the box. They got a player there. Gets a foot to it, but not much else. 
and this ball is going to go out. What's wrong with you? Did you not get enough sleep last night? That was clearly enough sides. It was called by the referee. As you can take a look here, he's behind the last defender. Easy call for the ref, who puts his flag up almost immediately. It's going to be a free kick for South Florida. You know, you're right, Jeffrey. I'm sorry I missed that call. Free kick of the game. Free First free kick here to Colton. Colton plays it short over to John. John now looking up the field. Plays it up to Gavin. Gavin over to Jaden. Jaden back to Gavin. Gavin tries to return the favor just a little too far for Jaden to reach. And it's going to be a throw in for the rush. Rush gets the ball off into the middle of the field. Matthew trying to defend it. Gets it to Crosby. Crosby plays it off the rush player and it's into the hands of Colton. Rush already coming with a three man press here. And they're going right after the ball. John back to Colton. Colton playing it long for Jaden. Jaden gets a chest to it, but it lands awkwardly for a rush player. John trying to play it over to the side ends up hitting off of a rush player who manages to keep it in only temporarily. Oh boy, already pressure for South Florida as John, Colton, and Crosby are going to have to try to deal with this the best way that they can. Crosby now on the left side, plays it down the sideline to look like Gavin. No, Brandon. Brandon in a lot of trouble trying to pass it back. Can't do it. Just getting all kinds of pressure from the rush. And Brandon with a slide tackle there, able to get it off to Mora. Mora trying some fancy footwork, can't get it to work. Gavin ends up picking it up and plays it back to John, who's got some time on the ball and plays it long down the field. He's got Mora, he's got Joaquin, and the keeper comes out but doesn't get the ball right away. And the rush quickly kick it out for a throw it. Mora now trying to get control of this ball. Shakes a couple of defenders, but ultimately does not shake the last one. Looking for a foul there, but none called. Brian now on the ball. Ooh, nice little nutmeg by Brian. He gets into the box. He's played into the middle, and there's Jane. Jane shoots and scores. It's one nothing. South Florida. They went look. They went from looking like they were in trouble to now being on top. What an effort from Brian, and what a goal by Jane. Oh, it was a sweet little play there. Mora trying his best to get in the box. Can't do it. Brian there with a nice little nutmeg through the player's legs. And he sees the space and he plays it right into Jaden, who's there. And he uses his left foot to put it into the corner of the goal. one nothing, South Florida. Oh, it's uh, the flying already. And it's only been a few minutes into the first period. All right, well, now the rush of playing the kickoff, playing over to their left side. Force the play back. Rush center back now looking, plays it across to the right side. Brandon is there. He gets a foot to it, but not enough to move it forward. Goes out for another throw. Brandon heading the ball forward. Rush still in possession. Rush in the middle of the field. Play it through ball. They've got a player there. It looked like he might have been off sides, but no call. As he tries to put that one around Jaden, Jaden able to get back and plays it back up the middle of the field. Rush now back to control, passing it back to their center back. Back into the middle of the field. Now over to their left side once again. Brian applying the pressure there. But the ball gets through. Number 19 from the rush. He's running in on goal. Here comes Crosby. Cut in by the rush. And Colton comes out to deflect that one. What a play by Colton. Well, South Florida's going to have to watch this 19 because he's a wiry one. And he just slips in here between Crosby and Jaden. I can't believe it. But then Colton makes himself big, and he comes out there with enough force to drive that ball away, and it's going to be a free kick for South Florida. All right, well, Colton takes it short, playing over to John. No press this time, as John launches this ball down the field. He's got Brian, now Mora, and Rush pop it back in. Matthew's there. He heads it back into the fray. Mora comes down with it. Mora with a little bit of time. He plays it into the path of Curly, but the rush defender gets it. That looked like a foul. No, nothing called on the field. Mora's still on the ground. Crosby comes intercept, plays it to Matthew, Matthew to Brandon. And now I'm back on Matthew's foot. He's looking for some help. He has to play it back to Colton. And Colton way out of his box. Kicks this one straight up in the air. Joaquin gets ahead to it. Plays it into the path of Mora. But the defender for the rush, number three, is going to get there. 
Joaquin now comes and takes it off the rush player. And it's going to be a throw for the rush. Wow. What a sequence of events here. More hitting the ground twice than the last one. Definitely looked like a foul as Matthew hits this one back. Now Matthew back again. Kicks it into the space there, but no one's there to receive. Goalie for rush comes out and collects. So, so far, a couple of uh, hard plays here. This is going to be a tough one. As Brian sneaks that one away from the rush defender, he's in on the goal here. He shoots. He scores, and it's 2 nothing South Florida. And just I'm, I'm speechless about how quickly things transpired here. Brian coming in with a nice little piece of work there to snag that one off the defender and work that play into the box for a goal. What do you think, Jeffrey? What do I think? I think what has this been all season? This is two goals in less than five minutes. Look at Brian there. He just gets that foot on the ball. And the defender's left helpless. And Brian's in. Goalie's staying back. That's a mistake, laddie. As Brian puts that one in the top left corner. You can't defend it. It's 2 nothing. Who would have thought? Well, I thought South Florida had a good chance in this game here to come out on top. They've been playing very well. They've been organized. But to go up so quickly, 2-0, to zero, it just it shocks me. Well, there are many coaches out there that will tell you the worst score line in soccer is 2 to nil, Because then your players get complacent. They get lazy. They think they got the game in the bottom. It's way too early. I hope that they don't fall back on their heels thinking they got this one won. There are still over a whole half, half of this half and another full half after that. You know, you just said that that's three halves, right, Jeff? Don't go correcting my math. I'm not a mathematician. I'm just saying it's too early to get cocky. No, I agree with you, Jeffrey, and I, I've seen as many games as you have where the lead is 2-0 and the teams ultimately come back to either tie or win the game. So, yeah, just South Florida needs to stay on their toes as here comes the rush. Here comes that number 19 that we mentioned earlier. John facing up with them. Oh, he's got some moves. Cross into the box. Colton there to grab it. Well, the rush have not quit, that's for sure. As they're trying to get that ball into the back of the net, as South Florida have done so twice already. Colton taking his time. Rolls it out to John. John getting the press immediately back to Colton. Colton now over to Crosby. Crosby with yards of space. He's going to take it. Getting met by some difficult defense there. Passes it in the middle. Was looking for Joaquin. Couldn't get it to him. But Gavin ends up coming away. He plays it over to Matthew. Matthew now through the middle. Matthew playing it up to Joaquin. Can't do it. Rush parry it away. Rush now with players in the middle. Three versus two. Jaden is coming back. Rush now still on the ball. Cross. And shot and goal. Holy cow. Well, is that coming back? Tell me that's coming back. Is that offside? Well, to answer your question, no. But this is exactly what we are talking about. They can't get complacent. Look here. Nice little cut back there by the defender. Number 19 wide open. You can see he's still behind Crosby. And it's just an easy goal for him. And now it's 2-1. to one. South Florida need to start sweating out there and start defending the ball. Well, at least they got the wake-up call fairly early here. And they still have some time to do something about it, hold the lead at, at the very least. As Matthew plays this ball back to Crosby, Crosby over to John. One of the, one of the things this year uh, has been some controversy amongst the team is this three-defender uh, set in the back, along with Colton at the goal. When the press comes, there's very limited options here as Colton plays this one out to Bryant. Brian over to Mora, who's wide open. He plays this ball far out to the right side. Jaden's in chase, but he's just not going to get there. It's it's creating a lot of difficulty. But when South Florida is able to get out of that press, some real magic can happen, as you've already seen, two goals. But uh, it's, it's getting fairly difficult throughout the season as Colton plays this one over to John. 
John passing in to Gavin. Gavin over to Jaden. Jaden able to get a foot to it. Now he's in some trouble. He's looking for some help. He plays it back to Matthew. Matthew back to Gavin. Gavin getting double teamed here. And the press again resulting for the rush in a positive. As Gavin has to kick this one out for a throw in. Ball thrown in the corner. Immediately kicked to the middle as Curly hits that ball out of there. Moore trying to get a foot to it. Can't do it. Then Joaquin. 17 able to evade all defenders here. And now they're going to play it out to the Y. Brandon defending the ball, forcing the ball back, rush resetting, and moving to the other side of the field. Moore now coming towards the ball. Oh, Joaquin almost got away with one there. Can't do it. Mora now comes and steps on the ball. Gavin away with it. Gets it off to Bryant. Bryant with awkward touch there, unfortunately. And number 10 from the rush. Able to take it. This kid's built like a linebacker as Jaden gets a foot in there and prevents his further advance. Jaden now on the throw. He can throw it long down the field and he finds Brian. Goes over the head of the rush defender. Brian now with two defenders in front of him. He gets that into the box to Joaquin. Joaquin going in. Cross. And the goalie deflects it. Oh, Curling almost got a foot to that one. Brian back into the box. Gets off the math. Matthew shot and rolls to the keeper. All right, so a little bit better from South Florida as the rush keeper punts this one up the field. Crosby gets ahead to it. Rush, get back in possession very quickly. South Florida needs a hustle back on defense here as the rush are getting numbers. Crosby kicking this ball forward back into the rush backfield. Rush now again back on the ball. Playing it long down the right sideline, and the referee's going to call for an offside. All right, Crosby going to take the free kick here. Passes it back to Colton. Colton, no press. Rush just kind of walking back to their line. As Colton looks to play this one, he's going to play it over to Crosby. Crosby down the line, looking for Brandon. Brandon, again, immediately met with pressure. But he's still able to get the ball down the line. And currently now on the ball, plays it up the field. Looking for Joaquin, can't find him. Warren now defending the ball well. Brian ends up with it. Brian in the middle of the field. Brian looking, shooting, and it goes wide of the goal. All right, well, South Florida so far doing okay. Able to bounce back from giving up that goal. They're, they're playing much more forward, much more attacking-minded. Matthew passes the ball back to Jaden. Jaden over to Curly. Curly passing it over to Brandon, who's in the corner. Brandon able to take a touch inside. Still has the ball. Looking for some magic here. Gets it off to Joaquin. Joaquin back into the middle to Mora. Number 10 defending. Kicks it away. Jaden's going to get there. Jaden taking a touch. Oh, he just loses it. And the rush are going to recover in their backfield. South Florida trying to get the ball back. Long ball from the rush. Nice ball up the field. And here's a ball into the middle. John and Crosby trying to defend number 17, who's also got some moves. He tries a shot, blocked by Crosby. Rush still in possession, but South Florida have got their defense back, and Rush go for a Hail Mary here, and it lands safely in the arms of Colt. So far, the Rush look kind of tired. The Rush does, I'm sorry, the press does take a lot out of you uh, if you keep it up enough. I'm laughing because the rush kind of are apropos to their to their name. They are rushing after the ball as they as their namesake covers and looking into a little bit of trouble here, but able to get out of it is the rush defender who plays it over to the right side. Matthew there got a foot to it, just couldn't recover it. Rush now is trying to attack. No foul called. Looked like there was a little bit of push there. And the ball ultimately goes out in the touch for a throw. Rush loses that one. Now South Florida throw. Brandon throws in. Sees Gavin. Gavin flicks it on. Mora comes up with it. He's got a few rush defenders on him now. But he makes space. And he puts the ball in the space for Matthew. Matthew giving chase. Matthew with a touch. And that looks like it's going to be a corner. But no, actually it stayed in. The goalie picked it up. Well, he kicks it long. Jaden is there. 
And it goes off Jaden's shoulder, it looked like. It's going to be a rush throwing. Rush now, taking their time. Long ball from the number 10 to switch the field. Rush now moving up the right side of their field, up the middle, headed on, lands to the feet of a rush player, one-on-one -on -one with John. John blocks the shot. Now Brian on the ball. Brian having to get past number 19, passing it into Matthew. Matthew in the middle of the field. He's got space. He's going up. He passes it to the outside of Joaquin. Can Joaquin get there? Joaquin stepping on the ball, trying to play it through the legs of the defender. He's going to earn a corner. Oh, uh, no. It looks like the referee's changing his decision here. And it looked like a clear corner for me. As Joaquin's chasing this ball, let's see if we can get closer. I can't really tell where the line is. But it looks like Joaquin steps on it here. He plays it into the feet of the defender. I don't know how that's not a corner. But give it to him as a goal kick. All right. Rush coming out of that free kick. South Florida defending well here now. They're, they're really pressing on every ball that is passed into the middle. As the rush switch to the side. Brian is there. Oh, could he get to, couldn't get to it. Number 10 from the rush able to kick that ball up and out of the way. As the rush now coming down the field. Number 19 on the left side. He's a little tricky. Let's see if Jaden can get there. He's in the box now. And Jaden able to get a foot to it, and it's going to be a corner for the rush. Ball into the box. Jaden almost got ahead to it. Ooh, that was dangerous play. Thought Jaden was going to head away there. He just missed it. And here's a long ball from Colton. Jaden trying to get a foot to that one. Rush now kicking it up in the air. Comes down. Rush players again head it. Moore trying to bring it down. Matthew kicks it towards Moore. Now Matthew to Julian or Curly. Curly now with a little bit of space gets it off to Brian. Brian back to Curly. Curly looking across. He does. Is anybody there? Oh, the rush keeper comes and snags it out of the air and throws it down the middle of the field. Brian applying some pressure there, forces the ball out to the right side. Looks like it's going to be a throw for South Florida. Brandon quickly throwing the ball into Matthew. Matthew back to Brandon. Brandon looking for Mora. Thought there would be a foul there. No, Mora just kicks it away. And the rush keeper picks it up. Rolling it out to his left side now. The big number 10 for the rush. Plays it out to the left. Down the line it goes. Jaden and Julian applying pressure. Julian getting it off to... Brian, Brian into the middle for Mora. Mora's got yards of space. He plays it up to Joaquin. Joaquin, Joaquin, get there. He cannot as the rush keeper quick off his line to snag that one up. That was looking good for there until the number 10 from the rush. Able got a foot to it and deflected it towards his keeper, who then got on his horse to grab that one. Ball played up the middle of the field. John way up the field for a center back. Definitely in the rushes half and now realizes where he's at and starts heading back. But good to see South Florida's defenders acting aggressively. There's Matthew there, picks one off, gets it off to Joaquin. Joaquin to Mora. Mora chipping it over the top. Sees Matthew. Matthew giving chase. Tries to keep that one in bounce. Can't do it. And it's going to be a goal kick for the rush. All right, rush going up the right side of their field. Nice little give and go. And then a long ball just to the out of bounds. As Brandon throws this one into Matthew. Matthew not under a lot of pressure. Plays it in comfortably to Gavin. Gavin's got his head up. He plays it across to Jaden. Lots of room here for South Florida players. As Jaden able to dribble in a little bit further. Jaden now looking around, looking around. Trying to get off to Moore. Can't do it. And the rush are now off to the races. 2v2. With another man sprinting in, Matthew trying to cover him, and he's the neck and neck with him, blocks the cross, and it's going to be a corner for the rush. Ball coming into the box. Joaquin was there. It lands comfortably for a rush player, but he plays it out. Joaquin gets a foot to it. Shot in, blocked by Mora. Mora now taking a touch. Oh, rush player there to intercept. And now it's coming out to the left side. Number two from the rush. 
playing it back. Didn't like to see all those blue shirts in front of him. Number 10 now playing the ball long and in the box. He's got a player, almost got a foot to it, and we have an offside flag. This was good vision from the big number 10 of the rush. Diagonal balls are always so dangerous. And you can see this player is completely unmarked. Jaden is a little off his line, but it's considerably closer to the defenders than that player was for sure. And it is an offside for South Florida. All right, Colton now on the ball, playing it up the field, headed back by the rush. Matthew now on the ball, puts it down towards Brian. Brian back to John. John back to Matthew. Nice little triangular passing there. Matthew playing it wide out for Gavin. Can Gavin get there? Gets a foot to it. Referee quick to call it, and it looks like it just went over the line. Throw in for the rush. And number 13. 13 plays it back. Looking, looking. No press coming as of yet, but here comes Gavin. Gavin, nice little play there. But Gavin comes away with it. Gavin now doing some moves. Gets it off to Julian. Julian looked like he got hit there, but no call from the referee. Because he got up a little hobbling a little. Joaquin able to poke the ball free. He gets it off to Gavin. Now taken back by the rush. Just exchanging possession here over and over and over again. And there's a foul on us. Let's take another look. I'm not really sure that I agree with this foul. Crosby's coming in. He braces himself. Ah, there's a little push there. Not much. But then that's uncalled for. He goes into him with his full back after the whistle's been blown. That should be a warning from the referee to calm it down out there. Get control of the game. All right, well, the rush play it back. Big number 10 now on the ball, playing it up the field. Well, they could have some trouble there. Brian pokes that one free, but no South Florida jersey could get on top of it. And the rush play it over to the right side, and Brandon's had that left side on lockdown. For the majority of the game, he throws it in. Throws it up to Joaquin. Joaquin to Brandon. Brandon plays it back inside for Gavin. Brandon now on the run. Here we go, Brandon. Now off to Brian. Brian, there was a slide tackle there. I don't know if that should have been called. It might have been. And Brian, Brandon takes a shot, and it goes well wide of the goal. Well, there's a lot of people hitting the ground here and some questionable non-calls. But I'll keep my opinions to myself other than on this broadcast. Rush now trying to bring this ball forward and are successful in doing so. Is number 19, the danger player here, changing his speed. And, oh, Jaden runs right into the ball and he's going to kick it out of bounds. And it's going to be a corner. Number 19 looks frustrated for sure. Ball goes into the box untouched. Rush looking for some sort of call as their player hit the dirt, but nothing came. Colton plays this one out to Brandon. Brandon, oh, with an awkward touch there. Rush player came in and rushed it. <laughs> Love saying that. Uh, Crosby now on the ball. Plays it up to Joaquin. Joaquin trying to make something happen here and split the defenders, but can't do it. Ball played into the middle. Pass. Jaden cut it out. John now drives this ball forward to Brian. Brian trying to play through. Trying a little back deal there. That didn't work. Then finally got the pass off to Mora. Mora with Curly, who's running on the right side, wide open, but he elects to go to Gavin. Gavin gets on top of the ball. He's got a lot of pressure on his back. Trying some hold-up play to get some more support. And it looks like he dribbled the ball out of bounds. Throw in from the rush. And it goes out of bounds. Throw in from South Florida. And they manage to get it back, the rush. Crosby up. Really chasing that ball. And that's got to be an offsides. No, referee says play on. This could be trouble. It's 2v1. There's the cross into the box again. Oh, and it's just over the goal. Well, I've agreed with all of his offside calls. Let's take another look at this one. Oh. I think that's too close. I, I, I had to imagine there was something there that was offside, but he lets it play on. The rule is to let it play if it's too close to call. He does so. Jaden needs to get back a little bit quicker there, but he does a fine job of getting in and just harassing him enough to where he puts it over the bar. 
They almost had two to two right there. South Florida needs to get control of this game. Well, you're right there. It's been pretty back and forth. Um, bulk of the chances coming from South Florida. But uh, the rush, when they counterattack, are counterattacking very well with those two players. As we have a bound call on the field. And it looks like the rush player just ran into the back of Brandon. Well, it's actually going to be a handball there. Have to, have to correct you in front of all these lovely viewers. But you got it wrong once again. I'm sorry, you are correct. It's officially marked down as a handball. My mistake, I jumped to conclusions sometimes. As the ball goes sailing over the midfield line, Mora gets a foot to it, then a chest. Can he keep it in bounds? He does, but the rush able to retain possession. And now the big number 10 is going to run down the field, but gives it away for a throw. Jaden with that long throw again, gets it off to Mora. Oh, number 10 knocking Mora to the ground. No foul call there. Here comes Brian. No foul called again. And Brian now in possession. Nice little move inside. He's going to cross it. Is anybody there? Gavin is. Gavin playing into the box. Now Julian. Julian shot deflected. Jaden's going to come down with it. Jaden now looking for somebody. Finds Mora. Mora shooting with the left foot. Oh, at the keeper deflected down. Julian can get a foot to it. Oh, he can't. And the rush keeper maintains possession. Oh, man. Oh, what a flurry of events there. I can't believe no foul was called in any of this. It just seems unbelievable. As we take another look here, Brian just clatters into the lot. I don't know how they didn't call that. But Brian able to get back to his feet first. And he plays an amazing other little pass inside. Finds Gavin, unfortunately, that can't finish. But then this, Mora with that left foot there. Goalie can't get a hold of it. Julian's in the right place. He just can't get his foot to the ball. Ah, oh, such disappointment. Well, that's the name of the game. Right place. Unfortunately, that was just the wrong time. And the goalie was able to get a hand back to that ball. As John plays this one up to Matthew. Matthew trying to get control. Heads this ball up the field looking for Mora. Can't find him. Rush now bringing it down. Mora winning it back. Mora trying to flick it over the head of the number 13. Can't do it. Looked like he made contact there. No foul called again. And number 19 off to the races. John able to slide tackle in there. Oh, and disrupted enough that the 19 couldn't score. And it went wide of the goal. Crosby now launches this ball up the field, looking for Julian. Can't find him. Matthew now heading the ball back down to Brian. Brian with a little bit of trouble here. He's got Gavin out to the left side. Decides to play it in the space for Gavin. Can Gavin get there? He cannot, but the rush. Kick it out. Looks like Gavin got a piece of it as they take the throw. Brandon now, again, continuing to lock down that left side. Gets it off to Crosby. Crosby crossing the field, but nobody's there to receive. Nice little run over of the ball by number 19, but Jaden not fooled and plays this one back to Colton, who's going to calm things down here. Waste a little bit more time off the clock. Why not? You're in the lead. As John plays this one back to Colton, Colton back to John, making that rush player run a little bit more. John playing this one up to Brian, who's double teamed. Takes a little shot in the back there. Now Brian trying to get around number five. This little tick-tock there. And finally, a foul called. Brian taking it quickly because he sees Julian on the run there. Julian able to get to the ball. Oh, a little toe poke there from the rush player. And he's forced to play it back to Mora. Mora on his left foot. Plays the ball into the box. Nobody is there, unfortunately. And the rush keeper just collects it and punts it away. John now getting under this one. Knees it up into the field. Matthew gets a foot to it, but Mora comes down with it. Mora over to Gavin. Gavin gets a cut out. Rush now in possession. Oh, Rush player finally got around Brandon and is able to play to the middle of the field. Rush now trying to make something happen here, but Crosby determined to prevent them from doing so as Mora comes in there, and it looks like the referee is going to blow his whistle eventually, and he does. Well, we're almost at halftime. I want you to stay tuned. 
because we have a special uh, presentation for our players that will be leaving the club at the end of the season for MLS games. Take another look here at the fouls, or this foul in particular. But it's a special presentation for the players that are leaving. Nick Silva, Don Zarku, as well as Mora Sabat. Going to miss them all. They've been here for the duration that Matt About Soccer has been with SFFA. And better players you cannot find. We wish them all the best. We hope that you stick around and watch that as we approach halftime. I think the referee is going to blow the whistle here as Mora gets to his feet. And that'll be it. We'll see you after the half. Are you looking for something new and unique? Then head on over to our sponsor, Techie Apparel. Techie Apparel bringing you all that's new in the soccer world with unique designs, one of a kind that you can't find anywhere else, from t-shirts to mugs and even to cleats. Yes, cleats, custom made cleats like these Venom cleats that you cannot find anywhere else, only at Techie Apparel. That's T-E-C-H-Y at Etsy.com, Techie Apparel. Also, for something out of this world, you can see our new Galaxy cleats that are up for sale. And believe me, they are one in the universe, and that is it. So take a look, come on by at Techie Apparel, T E C H Y Apparel at Etsy.com. South Florida Football Academy's goal is to develop its players and ultimately to see them move on to MLS clubs or other great clubs throughout the world. These players excelled beyond others to earn spots on MLS clubs throughout the United States. We hope to see them one day in a stadium on live TV showing their skills and what they've learned here through their experiences with the South Florida Football Academy. Each game they display their skills to the best of their abilities and we hope for the best for them in their futures. South Florida Football Academy will never forget their contributions. Have a look. Ryan passes off to Mora. Mora looking in. Shot the left foot. It's in the goal. South Florida have taken the lead here against Jacksonville off the left foot of Mora. It is now 1-0 South Florida Football Academy. Mora waiting for the referee's whistle. There it is. He approaches the ball. Shot left foot and the goal. Brandon jumped right. Moore put it in the left corner to give South Florida the lead here against Weston. 1 to 0. What an epic start to this game. Mora confident left. Orlando trying to avoid the press here. Oh, he got a piece of it. Mora with the right. Puts it into the box. They try to clear it. Scores! South Florida leading Orlando City here in the first half. Unbelievable, what a shot by Mora, unintentional or not, that went in the back of the net with a little assistance from Orlando. All right, Nick waiting on the referee's whistle, there it is. Design up the goalie, here's a shot, and it's in the goal! South Florida just tied this game. All right, ball on Nick, Nick with the left foot, shot, and it's just outside the arms of the keeper. And South Florida have taken the lead here in the second half. One to zero as Nick goes to the sideline. Martin pokes the ball away here. Nick's on the ball, picks his head up. Shot, and it's in the left corner. South Florida have taken the lead here late in the game against Weston. Back and forth lead exchanges. And South Florida Football Academy leads three to two off of a shot from Nick. Nick stands over the free kick. Here it is. Shot. Deflected. Hidon puts it in. Hidon puts it in for 1-0 South Florida over West Florida Flames. We are leading. All right, more on the corner. Ball's into the box. Matthew gets ahead to it. Hidon there to put it in the back of the net. And South Florida taking the lead here. 1-0 late, late in the second half. And they swarm him at the corner post. What a game. Nick lines up, takes the free kick, shot, deflected by the goalie, but he drops it, he down puts it in, and South Florida have taken the lead here with only minutes left in this game. They are ecstatic, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a back and forth game, and Idan comes up big for the team, putting that ball in off of a drop ball from the goalie. South
want you to remember this name when you're thinking about buying another pair of cleats that are just the same old thing. Techie Customs at eBay. Techie Customs provides you with some unique footwear for the field that nobody else will have. Techie Customs at eBay has 100% satisfaction rating with over 500 sales. Techie Customs at eBay can provide you that unique look that you're looking for. And if you want something done original, you can check them out at Techie Cleats on Instagram. Techie Cleats, and you can drop them a DM to see what they can make for you. So why don't you head on over, check it out, and see what it is that you might like or you might want your feet to look good in. Well, here we are back from halftime. What did you think of the presentation, Jeffrey? Oh, 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 God. I cannot keep it in. I'm a very emotional person, and that was just beautiful. I, I, I really enjoyed watching all these players this season. Some amazing goals, some amazing players. I wish them all the best. And I know we're going to be seeing them somewhere in the future. No, I know we will. And, you know, I just enjoyed the hell out of watching them play the last three years. Really seen some amazing goals by those two. And not only that, but they're, they're really amazing people. They're good kids and better personalities you won't typically find. As Joaquin just drops the number seven from the rush. Oh, this is what I've been talking about. This is the level of play that we're going to be seeing. It's going to start getting rough out there because there's no love between these two teams for sure. Well, yeah, you do point out that uh, last year they did have quite a contentious game uh, that the Russian ended up winning uh, at the end here in uh, Claremont. That, uh, yeah, nobody was happy at the end of that one. Uh, parents were angry at other parents. Oh, as number 10 just pushes Gabrielle down to the ground, who has checked in for Mora who left after the half uh, with what appeared to be a foot injury. And you can see there, just riding his back. Man, what a hit. Well, if anybody on the team is going to be the enforcer, I imagine it's going to be that player. All right, ball paired away there. Rush now on the attack. Can't get organized quick enough as Brandon goes to slide tackle that ball away. And then another hit and another foul by the Rush. Well, lots of again. Let's take a look here. Garvin's coming in for the ball, and then he just gets clipped by the 15 right at his ankles. Well, that's two fouls within a minute of each other by the rush. As Brian tried to play that one short, couldn't find anybody. Manages to get the ball back, plays it up to Gabrielle. Gabrielle with some moves there, crosses it into Joaquin. Joaquin, oh! Looked like he was going to try to volley it there. Gavin gets on it. Oh, and it goes wide of the goal. That should have been goal number three. Oh, man. Well, he's going to want that one back for sure because it's him and the goalie, and he's looking the, the right way. He's looking for the left post there, the far post. But they just couldn't wrap it into the goal. All right, well, the rush played out to the right side. The right back has yards of space in front of him. Nobody meeting him to shut him down. And the rush just keep moving that ball up the right side, unabated, until Brandon comes in with a slide tackle. And that's going to be the second foul for South Florida. And he gets a yellow. Well, I don't necessarily disagree with the yellow card that the referee gave here. It's a tackle from the back. Does Brandon get all ball there? No, he doesn't. He just takes him out at the legs. I have to agree with the yellow card. Well, strap in, folks, because that's four fouls in as many minutes the second half is the rush almost put one in there, but can't do it. Yeah, I think just like with Gavin's goal, they're going to be wanting this back. As you can see, he gets a foot to it, and he just puts it wide of the net. Such shame. All right, well, Colton takes this one. He plays it out long out to Jaden. High in the air, it gave the rush player enough time to get to him. Matthew trying to play give and go with Jaden, and unfortunately off target. Rush... Play this ball in, and we're going to have a foul on Matthew. Well, we'll take another look at this one, too, because I thought this was a little soft here. Matthew's using his body. He's not really doing anything there. I'm not why that, sure why that was called a foul. He wasn't denying him, didn't push him down to the ground. Colton comes away with that one. Good job, lad. 
All right, well, Colton snagging that one out of the air. And trying to calm down this South Florida team. Throws it long up the field, and he's got Bryant. Bryant playing the ball in the space for Gavin. Gavin plays it on for Gabriel. He cannot catch up to it, though. That looked promising. Just unfortunately, couldn't get on top of it. Julian comes down with this one. Oh, it gets poked away. South Florida could be caught out of position here as the players were rushing forward off that interception. Now Brian able to cut off the defender from the ball, and John plays this one in the space, but nobody is there. And it looks like the rush are going to let it roll out for a throw. Matthew heads this ball away. Julian gets a foot to it to Gavin. Gavin, unfortunately, couldn't get it. Rush now in possession and playing it along their back line. Rush now, putting the ball over the top of the defender. Jaden there to cut away that pass. Gets it off to Gabriel. Long ball up the field. Nobody to get on top of it. And the rush keeper comes out to the top of his box to collect. Coach Callum looking onward here. I think he's got to be happy with the play so far. He's not up off of his seat, so I don't think he's angry. As John plays this one down to the ground towards Matthew. Matthew gets it off, but the rush end up collecting again. Rush player is out. Oh, Colton comes off his line and snags that one away from the number 19, who is in a dangerous area. Well, this number 19 has been a danger player all day long. He gets away from Jaden. He gets in front of John. He's got some amazing speed there, but he's not quick enough for Colton, who springs off his line like a cheetah. And snags that ball on the ground. Cat-like reflexes, some would say, Jeffrey. As uh, Colton kicks this one down the field, rush intercept. Now Brandon battling it out, trying to win back possession from number 15. And does, because he makes a mistake and lets the ball go out of bounds. Brandon throw into Matthew. Matthew up to Joaquin. Joaquin gets it kicked away from him. Rush now on the attack. And Gabrielle comes in there, giving arm. Rush crossing it in. Colton snagging it out of the air. Quick alert reflexes from Colton prevent that cross from meeting the foot of a Rush player. Rush threatening here pretty often at the start of the second half. And South Florida tries to figure a way to get out of their own backfield. Not going to do it there. As John having to deal with it and kick it up the line finds Bryant. Brian now trying to create some time. Gets it poked away. Gets it back. Gets it to Matthew. Matthew flicking it around. Gets it off to Brian. And there's going to be a whistle there for a foul. Oh, well, it's clearly a foul here when you take a closer look. Matthew able to evacuate whether intentional or not. But you can see the rush player has, a, has got Brian by the arm. Preventing him from moving forward. Although I think if he let that play out, that could have turned into something. Yeah, the referee was, seemed unwilling to let that uh, go forward and opted just to blow the whistle as Matthew gets a foot to that ball and then a break up there by Brandon. Ball goes forward still for the rush. Defenders running back. They got a wide open player in the box. Let's hope they don't see him. And we got an offsides call, luckily. Well, everybody's got all the energy in the world to run forward, but not to run back. We got lucky here with an offsides call. It was very close. If they had seen 15, he was in on the goal, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And that would have been trouble. South Florida needs to get back on the defense. All right, Colton kicks the one up in the air. Gets sent back. Colton now kicking out for a throw. Rush still threatening South Florida. This time Rush played out for a throw. Jaden, that long throw in down the line, number 10, parrying it back with his head. Rush coming back at South Florida here. 17 trying to keep possession, and Brian gets called for the foul. Well, I think this is another one where it's very weak here. Brian steps on the ball. I don't see much contact with the Rush player other than him falling to the ground. But I didn't see any studs on his leg or nothing. All right, long free kick into the box. Headed away by Crosby, into the feed of number five, who puts it over the bar. Oof. Colton playing it short to Matthew. Matthew, the nice little turnaround there. Puts the ball up the field for Gabrielle. Gabrielle able to fight his way through. 
and the referee blows the whistle once again, refusing to let play continue. Well, I'm not saying that there was an advantage there, but you won't know unless you let the play play out a little bit. I mean, Gabriel has the ball, he's got his head up, there's players moving forward there. If he doesn't connect the pass, then blow the whistle. All right, long ball over the right side, looking for Jaden, who had stopped his run because he thought a rush player was going to intercept. Ends up going out for a throw. Matthew gets in there, heading away by the rush. Gabrielle tries to control it, can't do it. Lands at Julian's feet. Julian now playing it over to Gabrielle. Gabrielle, I don't know what happened there, but the ball all of a sudden popped off his foot. Rush kick it away, but only as far as John. Now the ball bouncing around between different players lands to Gavin. Gavin plays it into the path of Matt Hansen, who was checked in for Brandon. Matt Hansen trying to get onto this ball and ends up deflecting out for a goal kick. So we've had some personnel changes. Matt Hansen has come in for Brandon. Hansen now playing this ball back to Colton. Oh, no, this is dangerous. Colton, oh, Colton takes a hit there. Referee has stopped play. We got the goalkeeper on the ground as well as the defender. And a red card comes out of the referee's pocket. Wow. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Well, it's clearly a red card. You'd have to protect the goalies here. He clearly gets the ball first, and then the rush player leaves a foot dangling out there. I won't tell you where it hit him, but it hit him in a sensitive area there. Well deserving of the red card, whether intentional or not. The goalie must be protected. There can be no harm to the goalie. Well, Colton, thankfully, is back on his feet as he is our lone goalie or the MLS next team. I don't even know what we would do if he was unable to continue. As this ball goes into the box, Gabrielle shot, deflected by the goalie for the rush, and it's out for a corner. This was a nice little cross in from Jaden. Gabrielle going into the space, playing it immediately. One touch. Good job by the rush keeper to block that one. And here comes the corner. Brian in on the corner. Hits the post. Going for the Olympico. But it hits the crossbar and out for a goal kick. Rush plays this ball up in the space. Crosby giving chase to it. Nice little step over. Causes 17 to run a little bit further than he needed to. Colton passing it off to John. John immediately under pressure. John trying to make something happen here. But nobody to get the ball to. And it's going to be a throw. Jaden throwing this ball up to Joaquin, who is unusually unguarded. Rush player tries for a slide tackle, misses. Joaquin is still on the run. He's in the box, slide tackle. And the rush keeper collects. Throws the ball out to the left side. Rush now taking advantage of Joaquin still being down on the ground. And we're going to have another ball out of bounds. Well, lots to look at here. Let's take another look at this. Slide tackle from the number 10. Unfortunately, takes Joaquin out as he was going out of bounds. And then this here is going to be a foul called on Gabriel. And he just makes contact with the rush player, goes immediately to the ground. And it's going to be a free kick for the rush. All right, Brian sort of obstructing the free kick, but the rush play it back. Matthew now coming over to harass the ball. And slide tackle. It's going to be a throw. Bad throw by the rush. They're going to turn it over here to the South Florida. Jaden now. Long ball down the field. Joaquin playing position, now giving chase. I don't think he's going to get there before the rush defender. He nicely does away with him. The rush player falls to the ground, and we've got a foul call. Well, if there was a Neymar award for acting for a foul, that would claim it right there. Even Joaquin doesn't know what he did. Yeah, I'm not really sure. As we take another look here... It just looks like he slid his hands down his back, and then he fell to the ground. Um, very unusual, but I guess that's how they are trained here at the Rush, to draw the foul, as they take that one short. Rush playing the ball long up the field. John trying to win it back. Oh, nice little play here by the Rush. Crosby kicking it away, though. Joaquin giving chase, cautious not to touch anybody. Brian now, letting that play to Jaden. Jaden gets it taken off his foot. 
Rush down a dangerous spot as Crosby changes his forward. Crosby on the run. Oh, slide tackle by the rush player. Another slide tackle. Another slide tackle. He's poked it away three times now. Rush now on the attack. Going up the right side. Cross into the middle. John misses it. Shot, and it's in the goal. Oh, my goodness. An unlikely goal here to make it 2-2. Two two two. Oh, well, there's a lot to see here. Especially this play by the rush player. Look at that tackle right there. Dangerous but effective. And he pokes it away there from Gabriel. Now Matthew's coming to get it. And uh, it looked like he made contact with Matthew's foot there. That one is a little bit questionable. But right here, John just tries to swing and misses. And oh, just laying out there on the platter for the rush player to put in the back of the net. Ah, uh, two to two. And they're playing a man down. That's the most amazing thing. That is true. The Rush have been playing down a man. And South Florida just unable to be effective at all, even though they are short, or have been short, a player. The Rush actually have been playing more effectively, having only 10 players out on the field. They have harassed, harangued, and basically had more opportunities to score than South Florida since losing a player. If you can imagine that. As Colton comes out to snag that one. But, you know, it's not about the numbers, folks. It's about the desire. And Rush clearly have the desire to win here, even though they are a man down. As this ball plays out to Hanson. Hanson all by himself. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Shot. Oh, this one goes well over the goal and out of the park. Hanson definitely wouldn't forget that one. As the Rush play this one short. No, no pressing from South Florida, even though being up a, up a player. Just allowing the rush to pass this ball around. Now Gavin gets a foot to it. Joaquin now passing it over to Gabrielle, who's free. If they can get some players forward, they can make something happen. Shot from Gabrielle. It goes well wide of the goal, but it was a nice looking shot. Just wish he would have waited for some more players. We may have had something there. Rush now, again, trying to play out of the back. South Florida only really pressing with a couple of players here. Matthew now up the field. No foul called into Matthew. Matthew trying to play that one over to Julian, but a nice little back leg sweep there from the rush player to deny the pass. Crosby now on the ball. Crosby's going to try to make something happen using his speed. As he turns up the right sideline, slows it down a little bit and get his composure. Now again, pressing up the field. Again, ruling that right side and is going to win a throw. Jaden now looking into the box. Sees Brian. Brian trying to get a foot to it. Cleared out by the big number 10 of the rush. Rush playing over the left side. Rush now trying to come down the field. Played into the box once again. Matt Hans tries to get a foot to it. Can't do it. Oh, Colton, big save. Whoa, we almost had the rush take the lead there. I don't know what's going on. They don't have players forward. They don't have players back. What is happening with South Florida right now? As this ball gets played up to Julian, he's still in possession. He plays it over in the middle of the field, but he can't find Joaquin, and there's going to be a foul called against South Florida. Well, mark my words. The Rush are going to score again. Whether they score to win or they score to tie or it's a losing effort, they're going to score again. And here's the foul call. I'm not really sure what happened there. But called for South Florida. Well, you know, we don't see everything with the camera. The referees don't see the things that we see with the camera. So it's kind of a give and take. We give the referees all the respect in the world. Sometimes they get it right. Sometimes they get it wrong. That's just the name of the game. As the rush play this one over to the right side yet again. And again, just free players to pass the ball to even though they are a player down. But Gabrielle there to intercept this one. Gabrielle sees Gavin. Gavin playing the ball down the line for Gabrielle. Can he get there? He cannot, and the rush play this one out for a throw. Quick throw in. Ball played up to Matthew. Matthew puts this ball into the box on a floater. Can Joaquin get that? Oh, goalie got a hand to it. Just popped it over Joaquin's head to get control. But a dangerous ball into the box nonetheless. As South Florida again transition here. And the rush just 
able to get into South Florida's area, the final third, whenever they want it appears. As they get this ball off to Brian. Brian now down to Gabrielle. The game is getting wide open here. And Gabrielle now passing off to Matthew. Matthew looking over to his left side. Puts that ball a little behind Gavin. Probably would have preferred to put it out front. Matthew Hansen on the overlap. Matthew now over to Matthew Hansen. Hansen now looking across the field. Plays it back cautiously. South Florida opting for possession here. As they play that ball into space, Gabrielle's going to get there. Play it across. Oh, Joaquin just couldn't get a foot to it. It was a little too far out in front of him. And the Rush are going to play this out for a throw. But much better play overall from South Florida. A little bit more patience as it almost produced results there. Jaden's throwing into the box. He's kept away. Rush tried to clear it, but it looked like he only got a piece of the ball there with their kick. Oh, no. Hansen getting overtaken by 17. He's going to try to win this ball back. I don't know if he's going to have much luck. 17 still in possession. Nutmeg Hansen going down the field trying to beat Matthew. Matthew able to get a foot in there. He pulls Gavin down to the ground, and he's going to earn himself a foul as well. It is now six fouls to five in favor of the rush, and i got to tell you, that's a much harder foul than I've seen at Safatay give the whole game. Barely touching players and getting called for fouls. They're basically pulling up players to the ground by their limbs and their jerseys, and they're getting that. At least they have the red card. Well, it seems like you're getting a little frustrated with the calls here, Jeffrey. Well, I am, because I can see a disparity in the way that they're being called, and I don't like that. I can see the referee is a young lad with his red hair, who's probably from my country, so I don't want to judge too harshly, but it is a little concerning that we're barely touching the players, they're falling to the ground, and he's calling a foul, and our players are being violently ripped to the ground, or kicked, and they're growing. And there's nearly a, a word of warning to the player other than that red card. Well, again, I like to remind our viewers, you know, we, again, we support the referees. It is a difficult job. Uh, there has been some interesting play, uh, foul calls here. But it's not to say that they're doing a bad job at all. As Matthew tries to come away with this one and does, passes it off to Martin, who has checked in. Martin going down the field is fouled by the number 10. And just as we are discussing it, he pulls out the yellow card for the big number 10. Well, rightfully so. Martin is off to the races here. He doesn't even play the ball. He just hits Martin, causing him to go to the ground. That should be a yellow card. We'll see what happens in the next time. All right, well, John is taking a long free kick here. Oh, goalie comes out, has to parry away with a punch here. Ale, who has checked in, giving chase, and is able to win a corner. Takes it short, gets it off to Brian. Brian at the edge of the box, plays it into Gabrielle. Gabrielle takes a hit in the box. Referee's waving it off, no penalty. Let's take another look. Well, this was a very small fall from Brian right into Gabrielle, who plays it off to the side. And it looked like number 10 grabbed him or obstructed him from getting to the ball. Not sure why that's not a penalty, other than he thought it was too soft. But I got to tell you, if Joaquin just laid a hand on the number 10 and he fell to the ground, I have to wonder what his level of soft is. Well, you are right with that, that one foul on Joaquin. Uh, just about anything could be called a foul at, at this point. And that may have, <laughs> if that is the the level that we're going to call then, yeah, that probably should have been called a fan. But moving on, we have a number of players who have checked in. Johnny L is in. Ale is in. Martin is in. Matt Hansen is in. Gabriel is in. Half of the squad has been switched out and trying to breathe some life into this team as this is trying to break this 2-2 two two tie. Brian plays a nice ball out in the space for Gabriel giving chase, but he's got two defenders trying to split the two, able to maintain possession. Gets into the box. Shot. Deflected. Oh, Johnny almost got there. Goalie ends up taking a kick to the side, and he is down on the ground. He's going to need a little bit of treatment here as the referee approaches him. But no foul call. No whistle. Fair play. Take another look here. Shot just deflects it up into the air. Johnny L comes in with a foot. Looks like the keeper takes one to the stomach there. 
I don't know if he's trying to get the same result as Colton, but I mean, Colton had already kicked the ball away when the foot of the rush player hit him. This goalie was in the process of coming to catch it when Johnny L tried to play the ball. So Crosby now on the ball here, trying to make something happen. Plays it over for Jaden, but it's a little too far out for Jaden, and it's going to be out for a throw. Down the line, headed forward by the rush. 3v2 here. Now 3v3. South Florida need to get back. That's a nice ball into space. Hanson giving chase. Can the rush keep it in? They do. Hanson now just defending very well. Ball still in. Hanson kick save away. 17 from the rush trying to play it in for a cross. Gets blocked by Crosby and it's going to be a throw. Throw into the box. Crosby tries to clear. Can't do it. John gets it up in the air there to Brian. Brian getting pushed and harassed. No foul called. I guess he didn't hit the ground, so he's not going to call it. But there's another foul by number 10. Is this going to do it? Is this going to be a second yellow? Referee's coming over immediately. He's having a talk with him, and he's basically telling him no more. What do you think about that, Jeff? Oh, what do I think? He got a caution already for the same exact play. A Martin. He clips Ale here. Ale played the ball over him. It was just like Martin. He played the ball in front of him and he clipped him. What was the difference? What are you warning him for? You've already given him the warning. That was the first yellow card. I think that's ridiculous. That should have been a second yellow and he should have been sent off. Two dangerous plays. He's taken out South Florida players. And this is a player who took a little tap on the back and he went down. I got the foul for it. I'm very disappointed here. Very disappointed. Well, you know, home field does have its advantages. And these referees are local. I'm not saying he's making any exceptions for them. And as Crosby's on the ground here, referee's going to see to him. But uh, well, let's take, a, let's take a quick look at this. Crosby takes a shot. And then there's a push from the number five yet again. He did this earlier in the first half. No call then, no call now. Um, Russia just been playing a lot more aggressive and rough defending than South Florida. And South Florida really isn't able to play that aggressive rough defending because they're getting called for little touches on the back. So it does create a problem uh, for the players because if they know they're going to get called for a foul for just putting their hands on a player's back, they're going to try to not touch the player at all to avoid the foul. Whereas when the rush do one incident that gets them a yellow card and then does the same exact thing maybe 10 minutes later and then gets another warning for it. And it just seems uh, contradictory. But back to the action here is we got a lot of it. Brian now back on the ball trying to split the defenders. Can't do it. Number 10 kicking it away. Ball played back by the rush, taking their time. Wide open player in the middle. Not really sure why. Oh, it's probably because he's offside. Well, the line judges have been right on the money today. I think they have been doing an excellent job. As you can see, this player is clearly offside. Good job by the back line to let him just roam in there and get in behind them because it's no danger. All right, well, free kick. John's going to take it. South Florida, I, I just don't know. They, they've like basically switched off. Again, playing against a team that's a man down. They just brought in all fresh subs. Johnny Yell back to Martin. Martin to the cutting Gabrielle. Can't make anything happen there. It's going to be a throw for the rush. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of life here. As this ball finds its way to Matthew. Matthew into Brian. Brian back to Matthew on the run. Matthew's going to have to really chase down this ball, which he does. He's got it into the box now. He's looking for someone to cross the ball to. Can't do it. Puts the ball up to the top of the box. Martin is there. He gets a foot to it. Kicked away by the rush. Gabrielle goes sliding in. No foul called. Ball bounces around. Ale now trying to get a foot to it. Johnny L does. And he launches that one in the parking lot. Oh, man. Now it's all or nothing as we are approaching the end of this game. There is not much time left, folks. Two to two. South Florida trying to get back a goal to take the lead here. Brian, nice little move inside. Shot. Oh, it's off the post. He can't believe it. The ball is still in. Play is still proceeding. Brian's on the ground. He cannot believe he hit the post. This is going to go out. 
Well, I think Lady Luck has taken a cab and is driving back to Boca because this was a great move by Brian, great shot, and it just goes off the post. I can't believe the luck here. Everything just going wrong for South Florida. It truly is. I mean, they come out, they score two goals in literally like the first five minutes of the game. And ever since then, it has been downhill. They can't get anything going as another foul is called here against South Florida. Well, again, we're going to take another look here. Okay, that one is a well-earned foul. Martin got his leg in there, and he got the foul. All right, free kick, rush. They put it into the box, headed by number 10. Colton lets it slip. That's trouble. 10 gets another foot to it. Shot from the rush, and they put it in. They have now taken the lead 3-2. to two. Well, I told you it was coming. Um, this illustrates my point to a T. This is good goalie work here by Colton. Unfortunately, he couldn't hold on to that one. But he comes up with a great save here. When the number 10 tries to put it in, he puts his body on the line. But where are the defenders? I'll show you where the defenders are. Look here. You got three defenders right up here at the top near the referee. What the hell are they doing there? There's wide open rush players all over the field. And nobody's going to the ball. This was just a turned off completely. Completely turned off. And they're going to lose this game because of it. Well, some hard facts there from Jeffrey. Hard truth. Uh, but now in South Florida, all the pressure on them with merely minutes left to see if they can tie this game up, which should have been a win. As this ball goes to the sideline, and it's not going to be kept in bounds. Throw down the line. Back to South Florida. Hansen with a long throw. Nearly into the box. Martin gets ahead to it. It's kicked up into the air. Ale comes down with it. Ale at the edge of the box. He puts it into the middle. Gabriel's there. Gabriel's shot scores. South Florida's just tied it up. Unbelievable. What a swing to this game. Didn't think it was going to happen. I thought we were chalking this up to a loss. And Gabriel finds the back of the net with merely minutes left. Maybe even two minutes left. What an unbelievable goal. Well, the Archangel Gabriel came down from the heavens and put his foot to the ball and put it in the back of the net. Look at this. What power. It just comes in there like lightning and blasts it past the goalie who can't do nothing but stand like a statue. 3-3 three to three South Florida. I highly doubt I could do it again, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, well, South Florida tying it up here. Scoring a goal that Dan scored a goal. Oh, uh oh, here we go. We got some trouble here, but John able to parry it away. Last goal they scored in this game was like minute five. And now to come in at the 78th minute of this match, which the matches are only 80 minutes, to tie this up is really something. Uh, the referee is addressing an issue over here, and it's going to be a yellow card for the coach of the rush. Apparently a little unhappy here with the, the play calling. I can't see why. It's been fairly uh, in favor of the rush, uh, by all accounts. But for South Florida to come and tie this up, it is going to be a disappointment. They should have won this game. They had the advantage of having 11 to 10 players for the majority of this, this half. And I've only managed to find the net one time through the foot of Gabriel. As they're fighting to try to get the ball in here in the midfield right now. Martin able to come away with it. Gets it off to Matthew. And the whistle is blown. And that will be it. South Florida able to pull away a tie here in the last broadcast of the 23-24 season. Any final thoughts, Jeffrey, about this season? Anything that you've taken away from it? Well, I think it's been an amazing year to go undefeated at MLS Next Fest, as well as seeing three of our brightest stars go off into the universe that is the soccer in the world and trying to see their potential future. I think that's the biggest takeaway of this season. Well, I have to agree with you there, Jeffrey. That was definitely the highlight MLS Next Fest. You know, it was a difficult season. The coach leaving just before our first game in the MLS Next. Coach Jordan filling in for the majority of that time as both the NAL and the MLS coach. Uh, just missing out on MLS 
flex, which would have brought us to Maryland. But all the all the hard times and all the good times in between really made this season memorable. Seeing those three boys go on to bigger and better things. And while some of our players will be returning, I know some of them will also be leaving to venture out into different opportunities. We wish them all the best. Coach Jordan also not returning, or Coach Callum. We wish them the best as well and thank them for bringing the boys as far as they did during the season. We wish that you all will hopefully return to watch these games next season as we continue to bring you the highlights and the lowlights, whatever they may be, to Mad About Soccer as these young men venture to try to become soccer players, which is a difficult and long battle, but one I'm sure there's to succeed as long as they continue to strive as they have done, like they did this entire season. Thank you again for watching. We hope you stay tuned for more next season. We'll see you then. Yeah!